So after a tough seven game series against the Wizards, the Celtics have the task of facing a Cavs team with 10 days of rest. And while I'm sure Boston will take the home court advantage, I don't think Cleveland has any regrets being the number two seed because they have fresh legs on the road. And if fatigue plays a factor in games three and four, they'll have their home crowd backing them up. Now, everyone is saying the Wizards would have been a better matchup for the Cavs, but I strongly disagree. I think the Celtics actually match up very well against Cleveland. The Cavs shoot the ball a lot better than last year after bringing in guys like Kyle Korver and Darren Williams, and LeBron completely changed his game last offseason and now shoots threes like Steph Curry. In fact, he's shooting 47% from three just this postseason. But Boston has arguably the best perimeter defense in the league. They actually held the Warriors to just 20% from beyond the arc when they played them back in March. So Cleveland won't get as many deep looks as they did against Indiana or Toronto. Their defense also isn't as good as last year, which is what happens when you bring in a bunch of shooters like the Cavs have. So Brad Stevens and his complicated half-court offense shouldn't have a ton of trouble, and they'll likely score on a lot of backcourt cuts like they did against the Wizards. The way I look at it, there are probably two issues the Celtics won't be able to overcome against the Cavaliers. They have lots of guards that can guard Kyrie Irving and defend the three and they probably can contain Kevin Love. But Boston is going to have a lot of trouble with giving up offensive rebounds as they have all season against like Tristan Thompson and they need to figure out who can guard LeBron. Jay Crowder is a great defender against good players but as we saw in early April he's not the same against super duper stars. Avery Bradley is too short to guard LeBron and he'll probably be on Kyrie anyways. Uh, Marcus Smart might be able to pick up the slack, but LeBron still has four inches on him. The one X Factor who may step up is last year's third overall pick, Jalen Brown, who played way more than normal in Game 7 because of his contributions on defense. The 20-year-old has the size to defend LeBron, so I wouldn't be shocked if his minutes keep going up. Now as a Celtics fan, I absolutely give them a chance in this series because of Boston's unrelenting effort. And if they're somehow able to stretch the series to six or seven games, their chances go way up because there's only one day of rest in between each game this series. It's seven games in 13 days. Fatigue could play a factor and Boston has the depth to stay fresh. But looking at it objectively, Cleveland is fresh heading into the series. If they take the first two in Boston, it's going to be a quick four games.